everyone. Today we're gonna talk about the four subsystem of the Earth: the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and the biosphere. We will learn how these four subsystems interact with each other. And to help us identify this four subsystem, let us call our friends to explain all these spheres. So let's start with the geosphere. Which is the outermost solid layer of the earth. Example, rocks, mountains, canyons, ocean floors, and volcanoes. Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere contains water, the earth, solid, liquid, and vapor. For example, lake, ocean, and river. And let's talk about atmosphere. Atmosphere is the layer of gases that surrounds the earth. For example, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. The biosphere makes up all of the living things on earth like humans, plants, and all of the living things. And that's the four subsystems of the earth. Let's see how these spheres interact with each other. When large volcanoes erupt underwater, the water cools the lava and solidifies it. The lava rock builds up over time and sometimes emerges out of the water to form island. Living beings in the biosphere need water to live. Land roots absorb water for photosynthesis to create energy. And the water also helps transfer nutrients from the soil to the plants. Water mostly from oceans evaporates into the atmosphere as water vapor, then condenses to form clouds and then falls back to the earth as rain or snow. Magma causes volcanic eruption which expels gases and ash into the atmosphere. The volcanic ash in the atmosphere can reflect sunlight away from the earth and can sometimes have a global cooling effect. Living beings need air to live. Animals use oxygen to generate energy and release carbon dioxide. As we've learned, plants use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and release oxygen into the atmosphere. Finally, we're gonna talk about geosphere and biospheres. Many living beings, including us, now live in the geosphere. Some live in burrows and caves to stay safe from weather and predators. When plants and animals die, they remain enriched the soil which then helps other plants grow. And now we know the four subsystems, how they interact with each other.